I guess it was like a wheel route, play action, you split down the sideline, wide open, walking through that play. I mean, shoot, it's just a play action. I mean, they just tag me on the route. It was that. We were practicing, carrying our feet all week, for all season. My whole career's not been here. And then you just hit me out in the backfield, the wheel. Uh, Adam, up front, I mean, you guys look pretty dominant tonight. I just feel like it was that way. I mean, you rushed for over 300 yards, and uh, I think you did pretty good up front. You know, uh, the scout team did a great job all week, giving us a good look, getting us prepared for this week, and uh, I think we went out there and executed it. Right. Yeah. Antonio, uh, earlier in the week, Jack Doyle uh, made the comment that you know, if you guys lay an egg against Southern Miss, it, it kind of the win against Kentucky was all for naught. Is that kind of your all's approach this week? I mean, last week was a big time win over an in-state rivalry, Kentucky. And I mean, we got the little monkey off our back. But this week, I mean, this win means a lot more to the fans. I mean, not often do we, like, come home and, like, play for the crowd, like, put on a good show that they deserve. I mean, we came out and played as a team. We played together. I mean, get we just doing this to get a uh, little green some life. It's from, from left to right. What did it mean to, to play in front of a record break? Uh, it was a good feeling. Um, there's a lot of love that I wasn't used to seeing when I first got here. Um, it's, it's good to see the community come out and support us. Um, not only because of the big win, but I feel like they see us on the rise and we're really on our way to do big things this season, so they're going to be behind us even more now. It was, uh, it was a good experience for me because I ain't never seen a crowd that big. You know, I'm a freshman. So, like, I just wanted to break out as a big bro. What stood out to the other two guys? What stood out to you about the environment? I mean, for me, it's kind of like what Jamarcus was saying. You know, we've been here when it was when it was pretty bad. You know, and and to see the way the crowd and the, the community has grown and supported us, it, it's a feeling that I can't explain with words. You know, it, it makes you feel, I mean, it just makes you feel great. I mean, we owe it all to the fans. I mean, we just came out and played good. I'm happy my roommate Nick Bosch got the score, so I mean, yeah, I'm really excited <laughs> about that. I mean, as a group, we played good. I mean, I the whole crowd had a, top, had a good time at the game. Marcus, you've been here. You know, you and Adam are kind of the, the elder guys amongst this group here. Uh, you know, when you did the topper walker at any point today, or even earlier in the week, did you did this week just feel different as far as uh, atmosphere and momentum just around campus? Uh, just like doing practice, I mean, we had like a, a different bounce in our step. Um, not to say it as um, being cocky because we beat UK, but we had a little swagger about ourselves. Like now we're on the road, you know, uh, we got a chance to do great things. And let's put the UK win behind us and our next opponent is Southern Miss. So they're, they're in their way of winning our next game. So let's, you know, get past them and let's move on to the next and to the next and to the next. Marcus, what was the game plan defensively? I think you, want, you were a middle linebacker at one point and rushed the quarterback. I mean, we're just trying to confuse those guys up front a little um, bit. It's a little package that we have, man. Um, we just mix it up. Because uh, Gidget, he's like a, a guru. So, you know, he got a lot of tricks up his sleeves just to get them a little confused. Um, but I, our plan was to stop the run, uh, which I do the best I can. Southern Miss did a good job of running the ball. Um, the quarterback, number two, he did a good job of running the ball. So, um, and do what we used to do, just get to the passer and punish him. Antonio, you think this is the offensive line's best performance since you've been here? Uh, I don't think. I mean, each week they get better. I mean, they playing like I'm only I've been playing for a while together, all the way from uh, three, four years. Yeah, three, three four years. years. Yeah, and I was proud of uh, Big Ed stepping in for Cam. I mean, we didn't miss a heartbeat, so it felt good to come out here and see these guys play their heart out. So you can't really be tired after a win like that. What's it mean anybody's an answer to get that win in front of the crowd that y'all just had? I mean, <laughs> it's, like I said earlier, it's hard to put it in words, man. But it's just a great feeling. Like I said, to come from from where we were and to see the program build and, and grow the way it has, it's, uh, it's a great feeling. And I'm excited to see what we can do the rest of the season. Arkansas State next week, considering that it ultimately decided to Is that something you talk about even though it is a I mean, long rest of the conference season? 
And for me personally, and I, I think I can speak for the rest of the team, we attack each week, the, week the same way. Um, like Coach Tiger's been saying, you know, we're trying to we're trying to get better every week and just see how good this football team can be. And uh, I think we come in next week and, and correct the mistakes that we made this week and try to get better from it and uh, try to see how good we can be. Antonio, did the Hardballs or any of the former players talk to you guys before the game, or what was it like having those guys there? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a real good feeling. We got uh, Coach uh, Jack Harbaugh to come in and gave us a good motivational speech. I mean, hey, what better way to come out here and play for those guys? What did he say? Uh, he gave us a Muhammad Ali speech, and I mean, he just motivated the team. He got us going. It's nice to see somebody like that come in and care so much about the program. Marcus, at this point last year you were 0 and 4. Now you're 3 and 1. Uh, it seemed like last year you were you know, kind of have to climb, climb yourselves out of a hole. How big of a difference is it now to be 3 and 1 as opposed to where you guys were last year? You guys are you know, started off quick as, as, as contrast to starting off so slow like last year. Uh, that's something that we were planning on doing, uh, or we set our goals out to be from the beginning of the season to start out fast. Uh, like I said, we had to dig ourselves out of a hole last year with the uh, 0 and 4 start. And we know uh, that put a lot more pressure on us to get back even, you know, instead of uh, being so much behind. So it's, it feels good for us to be a three and one and just roll to conference play with his momentum and his help us carry over. Coach, you